Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how we can uh, break down your configuration files. So, until now, we have seen that uh, how we can write our Terraform code in one single file. That is basically, you know, the provider block, the resource block, the variable block, the output block, the um, uh, data source block everything is written in the same file so basically we maintain one file which will contain all the code needed for the uh, infra setup however um, having everything in one single file is not a good practice and this is not how we work in the real world as well so if you're going to maintain only one single file it basically increases the complexity of the code and also uh, the code is not reusable right so it is restricted to one use case all right so at an organization level or uh, in the real world we have to write the code in such a way that the code is reusable and also reduces the complexity of the code so at any point when we talk about at an organization level or you know when we talk about in, in real world we should always write the code in such a way that the code is reusable for different different use cases and also reduce the complexity of the code so if you want to troubleshoot or if you want to see uh, 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 debug the code the complexity of the code should be reduced so to do this uh, we can break down the code into multiple files so instead of maintaining one single file for everything we can maintain multiple files for the respective blocks that is one file for the provider block one file for the resource block one file for the variables block and then so on so we can do the same thing with your terraform configuration files as well uh, so instead of writing all the blocks in one single file we can maintain individual files for each block so let's say for example until now what we were doing was we were having one single configuration file and within the same configuration file we have the provider block we have the resource block, the variable block, the output block, and the locals block. Now, what we can do is we can break this down into its respective files. So here we can have all the variables in one file, the outputs in one file, the resource blocks in one file, the provider block in one file, and then so on. So we can maintain a provider.tf which will have the provider uh, block. We can have the resource.tf which will have the resource block. We can have the variables.tf which will have the variables block and then so on. So this is a standard practice at an organization level and a good way of writing your Terraform configuration file. So in real world this is how uh, you will see people uh, using Terraform to set up their infrastructure. So this is what we have been doing until now, right? So let's say here, I'll give my provider block and let's say region is equals to var dot, uh, let's say EC2 region. So here I'm defining a variable, all right? And let's define the variable block. And let's say this is EC2 region and let's say my type is a string and we'll give a default value for this so let's say us east one okay so let me just do this and then we are having our resource block okay so let's define our resource block so this will be aws instance let's say example one uh my instance type will be t2 dot micro or let's go with var dot ec2 instance type and my ami would be var dot ec2 image all right now again we will define this uh, as my variables so let me define one more variable block so this will be one of the variable and let's say the uh, type would be string and the default let's say would be t2 dot micro right 
Likewise, we'll have one more variable block. So if your variable and this time, this is the second variable that we have. And then again, the type would be string and the default value i'll get it from my console so here i have an instance let me just copy the ami of this and we'll give over here so this becomes my variable block likewise you can have your output blocks you can have your data source block so basically everything is in the same file now this is not the standard way of writing your terraform code this is not the good practice of writing everything in one single file and this is where we can break down this configuration file into multiple files okay so we can have a separate file for the provider block so let's see an example for this so here i have my terraform installed okay so that's my terraform now we'll create one folder we will go to that folder and if we create one more folder let's call this as break example and now we will start writing our configuration files so first we will create our provider.tf and here we will define our provider block so let's say region is equals to var dot ec2 region so here i'm making use of uh, variable so that means we will be having a separate variables file where this variable will be defined so let me save this then we will have our variables block where we can define all of our variables okay and then we will have our resource block where we can have all of our resources okay so let's create this resource block now we will create a main dot tf and here we will define all of our resources so let's say a uh, resource aws underscore instance and let's say this is example one and let's say the instance type is equals to var dot ec2 instance type and my ami would be var dot example one ami so this becomes one resource block likewise we will have one more resource block but we'll just use a different label name so this will be example two and let's say this will be example two ami so this becomes my resource block so here you can see i have the uh, main block and i have the provider block next we are going to define our variables so here we will create a variables.tf where we will be defining all of our variables so let's say this is our variable block and the first variable we are going to define is a ec2 region the data type of this would be string and we will give a description to this now here i'm not going to give the value for the value we will again maintain a separate file so let's say specify the region to create the resources this becomes one variable block we'll define another variable block will be which will be example one ami And again so we'll give a description first so specify the ami for the first instance the data type for this would be string okay so we'll define another variable block which is for the second ami so this will be example to ami and let's say specify the ami 
for the second instance second instance and then we have our last variable which is ec2 instance type so we'll give the description and let's say specify the instance type for the instances and again the data type would be a string and done so we'll save and close the file so now we have three files where i have the main block i have the provider block and then i have the variables block all right so here where dot ec2 instance type we have defined it over here where dot example 1 ami is here uh, where dot example 2 ami is over here and then the region so var dot ec2 underscore region is over here all right now we will have another file for the outputs block so let's create one more file and let's call this as outputs.tf and we write our output block so let's say output would be instance one public ip and the value will come from this expression so aws underscore instance underscore example one this will be dot and then dot public underscore ip likewise we will have one more output block so depending on what information you want to expose you can specify this so in my case this will be example 2 and this would be instance 2 public ip all right so here if you can see this this is the uh, main.tf file where we have our resource block and here is my outputs block so you can see here aws underscore instance dot example one public ip aws underscore instance dot example two public ip now we have one last thing which is the terraform.tf vars now all the variables that we have defined if you see we have not passed any default values so now for this we will be creating a separate file and we call that as terraform.tf vars and this is where we will give all the values so ec2 region would be t2 dot micro and then uh, um, example one ami will give the value then example two ami will give the value and then ec2 instance type we will give the value okay so basically all the variables that we have defined in the uh, variables dot uh, tf file we are passing the value from this terraform.tf vars file so my um, instance type would be t2 dot micro sorry i have to change this it should be region so this will be us east one for the ami we'll take it from the console so this will be the first ami for me for the second ami let me get it from here so let's go with the amazon linux ami and i will copy this so this becomes the second ami and this completes the configuration so as you can see here what we have done now is instead of writing all of these in one single file we are maintaining separate separate file for the respective configuration so we have the main.tf file where we have defined all of our resources we have outputs.tf file where we have defined our output block we have the provider.tf file where we have our 
provider information. We have the Terraform TFRs where we have all of our variable values. And then we have the variables.tf file where we have defined all of our variables. Okay, so this is what uh, standard practice is. Uh, we don't write everything in one single file, rather, we break down the configuration into uh, multiple files and then we start executing it. All right, so let's uh, run this configuration files and see how uh, Terraform executes this. So let's first initialize this. So this will download the necessary plugins required. Then we can generate a plan. So as part of this configuration, we have two resources that will be created. Okay, I have to attach my role for the formation. So this is throwing me a formation error. So here I'll go back to my instance, go to actions and quickly attach my IAM role over here. And let me run this once again. This is taking some time. Okay, so here, I am facing an issue. So when I'm trying to uh, generate a plan, when I'm running this Terraform plan command, it is throwing me this error. So basically it is not able to generate a plan. Uh, I was trying to um, troubleshoot this. I was trying to debug as to why this issue is happening. So what I have done is in my provider block, this region I have given it in double quotes and that is causing a problem because this is a variable right uh, it's not a value that we are passing here it's a variable so we don't have to make use of the double quotes and that is where this issue was happening so now let's run this terraform plan once again and this time hopefully we should be able to see the plan which will create two resources for us so here you can see to add and so basically what this has done is it has it is reading all this configuration file for us as part of as, as one single configuration file so terraform will handle that in the backend for us and it will create the resources so let's apply this and now terraform will read all these configuration files that we have and it will start creating the resources for us so this is basically what your uh, breaking down the configuration files is I, again like i said this is a standard practice uh, at an organization level in real world this is how you will be writing your terraform code uh, we never maintain one single file for the configuration we always uh, break it down into its respective uh, files and we start creating the infrastructure just waiting for the resources to be created and done so you can see apply complete two resources created and here is the output block that we have defined so that's basically breaking down your configuration files um, is uh, that's it for this uh, session so in the upcoming sessions this is what we will be using we won't be writing everything in one single file rather uh, we will be breaking down the configurations into its respective files and that is what we will be using okay so that's it for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.